Joining me now, White House Senior Advisor Kevin Hassett, former chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors, who has returned to be a top advisor to the White House right now. Kevin, it's great to see you. Thank you very much Thanks, for joining Andrea. us on great a busy to see you. day. Of course. Yeah. Well, first of all, I wanted to ask you about the testimony about the balance between getting more money out plus facing a, a huge federal deficit and facing the problem that, as the Fed chairman said, is really hurting the least among us in our country, the frontline right. workers, the people who are most affected, the people who are already poorest have the least amount of health care. Uh, what is the administration going to do about more stimulus money and about the demands for help for the state and local governments? Right. Well, you know, that's exactly the right question, Andrea. And what we're doing uh, right now first is making sure that the existing programs are being implemented effectively. And so we've got more than four million loans to small businesses all around the country. We've uh, mailed a, about 140 million checks for a family of four. It averages about thirty four hundred dollars. We've been doing things to help build a bridge to the other side. And we're making sure that those are implemented well. And I think that's step one. Step two is to watch as the economy turns on, assess how quick Quickly, things are getting back to normal, and then think about, you know, have a plan for next steps. And so we're not watching and waiting, we're watching and planning. And if uh, we get to the other side a little bit quicker than we expected, then maybe we'll take one path. And if it looks like the, the virus is sticking around longer than we thought and the slowdown is continuing deeper into the summer, then we'll have a plan for that as well. And, and fi finally, and I promise not to filibuster, Andrea, finally, the thing I could say is that if you look at the real-time data that we track, you're seeing a lot of very hopeful signs. Uh, there's this one database we have that's just the percentage of, it's mostly retail and restaurants, the percentage of businesses open in the U.S. It dropped at about 50 percent uh, in early April, and it's all the way up as of today to 67 percent. And so the, the country is getting back to normal. It's not all the way there yet, but it's getting there. Well, when we talk about getting back to normal, first of all, there are people who still haven't even gotten their unemployment checks from states. I know that's not a federal mm -hmm. responsibility. It's a lot of state bureaucracy. But the stimulus that was already approved, even the first tranche, has not all been pushed out. And if you waited the months for all of this to be spent mm -hmm. and accounted for, so many more people would be hurt. And it would hurt the economy down the road. Even the Fed chairman, who's not, you know, he's, he's a conservative mm -hmm. Republican by nature, He's been saying that more is needed. Right. Well, you know, I, I think that it's possible that more will be needed. But right now we need to assess, you know, what but are we doing do with wait? the monies that are I going guess the up? Point is yeah. Well, can I just finish one thing? That, that, but like the, the monies that sure. have you know, been stuck have a lot of times been stuck at the states. And so we've mailed uh, uh, for uh, small communities that are smaller than 500,000, we've mailed cash to the governors to deliver to the municipalities. A lot of the governors are, are sitting on it. You know, in, in Pennsylvania, governors sort of threatening people to do things his way or he's not going to give them the money. Uh, and then there's the really antiquated unemployment insurance claims uh, models for some of the states. They use this really old fashioned computer language which called COBOL. It's like 50 years old and nobody knows how to program in and they don't know how to get the checks out. And so when we were negotiating over the stimulus, I was up in the Senate Finance Committee hearing on my first day at work back on March 20th. And I, I uh, watched as the Democrats insisted that instead of writing two checks, that we uh, use the UI benefits instead to get cash to people. And we argued, geez, we wish you wouldn't do it that way because it's going to get hung up at the states. And then in the end, the Democrats uh, insisted and we, and we, of course, because we had to get a deal through, agreed to it. But I think it would have been better if we had you know, two rounds of checks than to go through the UI claim system because it's so antiquated. The unemployment uh, insurance claim system, understandably, and one of the worst cases, by the way, that the president doesn't seem to focus on is Florida, which has one of the least... Uh, the yeah. lowest percentage of money being pushed out. Let me ask you, though, with the Fed Which, chairman, by the way, I don't mean to cut you off, but that's that a really good point. The, the, they're just red and blue states have some, red and some blue states have these antiquated systems, so it's totally not a partisan thing. It's, you know, there are a lot of states that do it exactly. well and a lot of states that don't, and there's no real color pattern to them. Uh, well, to that point, though, the, the Fed chairman mm -hmm. saying that more needs to be done, that the people who are hurting are the people in the lowest sector. You saw the study the other day that 40 sure. percent of the people who were really suffering from this were making more than $40,000 a year. That was a Fed. I think it was a Minnesota Fed study. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance this? As you say, 65 percent of the economy is reopening, but not the people at the bottom of the scale getting the benefits. Right. 
Well, well, I think that the thing to think about is that you know uh, when the economy goes down, then it tends to be worse for uh, people who have. So that you often see that people with lower skills are laid off first, uh, and so that the big increase in unemployment—we have 36 million or so initial claims for unemployment insurance—is very, very much going to be disproportionately hurting people at the bottom, 100 percent. And so the hope is that we've, you know, gotten cash through the sort of $3,400 for the family of four. Uh, we've gotten unemployment insurance, uh, you know, basically approved at the federal level for everybody to help tide them over until when they get their job back. And then the question. That economists are going to debate is how long is that going to take? How long is it going to take to reconnect them? And as you emphasize, it's essential that we do that really quickly because the people who can least afford to not have a job are the ones who've lost their jobs. Let me just ask you inside the White House, are you wearing a mask? And what about those small spaces? You know those yeah. corridors better than I, but I've, they I've are. I've got a mask narrow. right here. Yeah, that, that, that this white one that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very comfortable for me. I, I, yeah, so I wear it all the time, absolutely, if I'm moving about. And even as I was being hooked up here by your crew, I, I had the mask on and I tested negative Good. this morning, but, you know, just so that the crew doesn't need to be nervous. But despite that, still, I, I wear the mask to protect everybody around me. Thank you very much, Kevin Hassett. I know it's uh, tough for Thanks. you to come out and take time. Thanks for being with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.